I'll tell you what, the first time I felt the transition from fall to winter. That's great active captain footage. Well, they like this bait. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Folks, it's getting cold outside. And today, I'll tell you what, the first time I felt the transition from fall to winter here in Southern Illinois. It is definitely, the temperature has dropped 30 degrees. We are at 42 degrees right now. Obviously I need to change. I'm gonna put on some heavy gear. We're gonna talk about the fall transition to winter. And, uh, and I don't even know if there's such a thing, but I can tell you on my leg, I've noticed that the crappie are acting differently. And so my goal in this video is gonna be to show that to you on Active Captain, give you those crisp, clean views of live scope. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be chasing some schools around the lake because that's one of the most popular things to do around here and it, just, it is a ball. So you can chase individual crappie as well, but boy, when you see a school of crappie, it, uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. So we're gonna get out there in the water, put some heavy gear on and uh, fight through this big temperature change. Ooh, it's cold, man, dang. Please subscribe, bam. is it cold hey if you haven't uh seen those beanies are back 15 dollars a, a, a piece folks excellent little stocking stuffers and uh i do have some left i, I tell you though they're they are uh being sold out i had a ton of them and i've sold an enormous amount and they are they're awesome perfect i should be wearing one right let me see if i have one hold on right there that's the beanie got this in black gray and uh yeah, they feel really good. All right, without a doubt, fall is a fantastic time and winter is a fantastic time to crappie fish. And the transition between fall and winter, uh, in my opinion, they just start separating themselves from those piles and they're looking for food. Folks, these fish are starving. They wanna get some food in their bellies before this winter comes in. It's a great time to be out in the water. Now, I always try to target days that are less than 10 mile an hour. Today, we've got roughly around a 12 or 13. So we're gonna to try to find some fish outside of the wind. And you're gonna see what, I'm really hoping you're gonna see what happens on live scope, um, where, you know, you spook them off a pile and they stay as a complete school and we can chase those fish around the lake. Um, and if they're good fish, you want to stay on them as long as you possibly can. So, I don't know, let's do this. Let's, let's put some fish in the boat. Good starter fish for sure. Good eater. I went after the clown. Good eater fish. Well, they like this bait. Eater fish, nice eater fish. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. We're about to put some big fish in the boat. We're looking for those schools. This is that transition period that gets you really excited. As I tell you, once it hits and those schools are out there actively throughout the entire season, it just, it's just a good time. So sit back, relax, get something to drink. Here we go, folks. Live scope heading your way. I'm gonna go way out there, folks. Hopefully swing it in. There it is right there. Hopefully it's not falling too fast for him. There comes one. There he is. And you saw him move that weight. That's the whole reason why I have that weight on there is so you can see the if they grab it without you feeling it. 
So we all use weights to get baits down to the fish quicker. I use a split shot because it's efficient, but I also use it so I can identify a fish taking the bait. And right there, you clearly see it. Well, other than getting it down there, that's a solid fish. That's a 12, 12 and a half fish. That is a great fish. But you saw that weight move, and then we set the hook. That is a small little school. And that's, your, that's, that's what I see a lot in these, this transition period and in the winter time, obviously. So you see that big fish down there, I'm gonna go down to it. Nope, and he got it. Good fish here, good fish here. You saw him coming after, you probably didn't see me set the hook on him, but. Wow, another 12 and a half. That's great active captain footage. That's a pretty fish, pretty fish. Let them go, let them go. like having all this stuff on. I feel very bulky and slow moving, but oh well. Guide trips are going fantastic. If you have an interest, uh, call 618-694-5162 or send me an email at 3poundfishing at gmail.com. Uh, definitely going to be doing guide trips through the entire winter time. It's a fantastic experience. I can't say that enough. So uh, book early. I already got a lot of bookings in December, but still looking for December dates. And uh, for those diehards, January and February. Now, if there's bad weather, folks, don't worry. We reschedule. We don't, I don't want to be out there in a 20 mile an hour wind either. So we usually try to target days that have less than 10 mile an hour wind. So again, when I come out here by myself, I usually fish spots that I don't typically fish. Um, this cove's got a lot of structure in it, so I just wander around basically and try to find some. This guy came a long way for it. Good fish here. This guy must have been hungry. Spot lock. Bam! Right there. Beautiful fish right there, folks. That's about a 12 and a half, 13 inch. That's a great fish. If you haven't uh, liked and subscribed to the Facebook and Instagram pages, do so, because I, I do a lot of posting on those uh, those pages and they're very active. Uh, so Facebook is 3poundfishing.com or 3poundfishing, of course, and so is Instagram. Just check them out. Uh, really appreciate it. Instagram, Facebook, very important to 3 pound fishing, just as much as uh, YouTube, so should have a great winter. It's just a very exciting time. New tournaments coming up, new sponsors joining Three Pound Fishing, which is really cool. Uh, I'll be sharing all of that once the weather truly turns. Uh, but a lot of cool things gonna happen for 2021. Uh, exciting time for Three Pound Fishing, no doubt about it. Fish here, folks. Stump. Right there, that's a great fish right there. Because they just might want a slower fall, and I've got two weights on this guy right now for a faster fall, actually. So, um, let me answer a couple questions that I get asked quite a bit. One is, why don't I why don't I have the live sweep on my boat right now? Um, the live sweep, I've said it before, I think is incredible for brush pile fishing. But if you want to chase crappie, I think that I would prefer to have it on my trolling motor because I want to keep my foot on one pedal and it just simplifies it. Not saying that it can't be done, it can be. It's just my own preference. 
I'm going to put the live sweep on a second boat. That's the plan. Then the other question I get is, why don't you have it on a manual stick? And that's pretty much the same story. I only have two hands. I don't want to have to be worrying about a stick if I'm chasing crappie. Again, not saying you can't do it. It's just my preference. I want to keep, if I can control and do everything with my foot, I think that's the most efficient way you can do it. And I think most guys that are on the trails would agree with me. So keeping it just on your trolling motor shaft is probably the most efficient and effective way if you're gonna chase crappie. Now, there's nothing wrong with having two systems on your boat. I actually do have two systems. I don't have two monitors right now, though. That's the problem. So, but a lot of guys do have two systems so that they can accomplish or accommodate both. There he was. I'll tell you what, you just keep it still. I think they get agitated that it's around. This is a great fish, great fish. Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Great active captain footage. Please share it. Also, I wanna bring up a point. I've got a, uh, I've got a new LiveScope group called Everything You Need to Know. LiveScope, Everything You Need to Know. And it's a great group on Facebook. Check it out. Thanks for watching another 3-Pound Fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.